we are going to manage Microsoft 365 environment using Windows PowerShell. So for you to correctly use the PowerShell and Microsoft 365, install the required software. The Azure Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell. The commands in the Microsoft Azure Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell have the MSO in their command outlet. These steps are required once on your computer, not every time you connect. However, you are likely need to install the newer version of the software periodically. Install the 64-bit version of the Microsoft Online Service Sign-in Assistant on this link. And then install the Microsoft Azure Active Directory module for Windows PowerShell with these steps. Open the elevated Windows PowerShell command prompt and run the install module MS Online command. After that, for you to connect, you need to use for the worldwide using the Connect MSO service. But stop the speaking, let's run the PowerShell in elevated mode and let's test it. But before we are running the PowerShell, we need to run the link that we provided. Microsoft Online Service Sign-in Assistant. I will download it and install it. I will use the 64-bit version. If you have the 32-bit version, install the 32-bit version. I will click Next. In a couple of seconds, I will get the option to run. Click Run. Click I Accept. Click Install. And wait for it to install. After that, click Finish. And I will use the command Install module ms online type enter and wait a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes to install you get the first question new get provider is required to continue if you wish to install it or if you wish to run it correctly type yes type enter wait for it to complete now you are asking untrusted repository. You are installing the modules from an untrusted repository. If you trust this repository, change its installation policy. Yes, I trust it. Wait a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes, depending on your bandwidth on your PC. And it has finished. So I will now clear the lists for you to better see. Now connect. MSO service and type enter. When you get this window for the administration sign in, you install it correctly. You can now sign in with the account of the Office 365 or the tenant and the password that is correctly for the tenant. And you are in. I will now clear the screen and I will try to test it with the command get MSO user. Type enter. And I get the four users that I have on my Microsoft 365 tenant. So we are now connected on the Office 365 or the Microsoft 365. 